Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are finishing up the Cleaver collaboration build. Um, last video, we did the blade grinding and this kind of cool two-tone finish. If you didn't see that, make sure you go check out part two. And in the first video, we put together a really cool set of scales. These are elk antler with a true stone inlay and bourbon barrel for the end there. Really cool. So today we're going to get these handles installed and we're going to totally finish this blade up. Um, I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to show, but we're going to get it done and finish this thing up. So let's get into it. So the first step here is I'm kind of trying to line up these scales with this handle in the best way because they just, it was hard to build these big enough for this giant handle, which I talked about in that first video. So now I'm kind of tracing this out and we've got rear pinholes. to kind of see how this is gonna look. And you can see, that's gonna, I think that's gonna work out pretty good. I just barely have enough material and I think I'm gonna end up having to have it a little, the handle a little shorter, kind of towards that bolster than what I wanted it. But that's just the way it worked out with the way this chunk of elk antler um, kind of finished out. Cause you can see I had to grind away a lot on both sides just to get it kind of evened up and now the tricky part is going to be making sure that I have enough material top and bottom to be able to line these up because like I said they did turn out a little a little wonky a little wonky so I'm going to show you I'm going to get these clamped up really quick and then see what it's looking like Okay, I finally got it to where I can show you guys what I'm talking about, I think. So, it's clamped up. This is how I get these segmented scales, um, get them drilled to keep it even, as I just clamp both scales like that with the blade flat on the top. And then, let me see. Hopefully I can show you guys this a little bit. You can see I've got that, what looks to be pretty even. Um, and then let me go over to the grinder and eat and kind of show you what I do to really make sure because you can see right here, I've got a little lip here. So I'm going to flatten that and see if these line up on the grinder. So <clears throat> here I can see it's, it's really hard to show you guys in the camera. But I think you can probably see that this is still, this one needs to shift down a little bit. And from here, how's that look? Actually, the top looks pretty good. So that just means my angle's off a little bit. So what I do is I'll pop this clamp off. And it's hard, the bigger the blade, the harder this is. And I make just some really small tweaks. To just really, I, I hate when you see a segmented set of handles on a knife and they don't line up right. I just feel like that's so not acceptable. Okay, we're really close now. And then I just go back to the grinder, kind of flatten it up again and double, triple check before we drill our pinholes. So there you can see we got our rear pinholes and our front pinhole and then everything is lined up and perfect so when you go to glue up 
you don't have any problems. So we're gonna prep our pins. Again, we're using 3 16 rear pin and a quarter inch front pin. Um, get those prepped and I'll probably check back in when I go to glue this baby up. Looking good. All right, so we're scuffing these uh, with a 40 grit to make sure they have some good uh, good surface to bond that adhesive to. Look at this mess, you guys. These are all knives I'm working on this week. I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Um, I've got a knife in the acid right now. I know this is kind of off subject, but this stuff is so cool not to share with you guys. This is uh, Baker. Ah, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. Baker Forge. I believe this is called Maiden's Hair. Super cool looking. This is my mini scout design I'm working on, but that's going to do two etch cycles. And man, that's pretty cool. So uh, we're going to get these finished up prepped. I got my pins ready. You can see I scuffed my pins as well, just so everything has a good surface to stick to. And we're going to start shaping these a little bit and then we'll get them installed. All right, it's the next day after glue up. For some reason, I went to record the glue up and it didn't record. It's always something with this, but here it is. Turned out really good. Everything turned out really tight and even. And I think it's gonna look really cool. So we're gonna jump over to the grinder, probably start with 36 grit belt, get these all flattened, shaped up a little bit. And we are gonna get this thing totally finished up today. Just like that, we are ready for a little hand sanding. And this thing is almost done. So I shaped those handles. I added a lot of contouring to them. And you can see I added even a little pinch grip. So it should be really comfortable to use. Cleaned up all the exposed steel. And then what I'll end up doing is re-bluing all of that area with a Q-tip to really have it match the rest of the blade. And now what I'm gonna do is hand sand all these handles up to probably 1200. Um, and then fill in, I've got a couple spots in this elk antler to fill in. You can, see, eh, you might be able to see, there's a couple little pores there that I'm gonna fill in with some CA glue, get this thing touched up. And then I'm probably gonna add a little bit of burnishing to that bourbon barrel, give it a little more character. And this baby's getting close. Okay, so let me show you before I start hand sanding. I've got this blade all taped up. And if the camera will show it, basically where I dug in, uh, it's not really showing up. Where I dug in there, you can see that there's some pores in that elk antler that are need to be filled a little bit. So what I do is take, this is Starbond medium CA glue. And medium's good because it's not so liquidy that it just runs out like water. Um, and this stuff works great for filling in those pores before hand sanding, which I think it's inevitable, even though I, these are kind of double stabilized already, these scales. And then what you do is you take a little bit of this Starbond Accelerator. And I can see that, unfortunately, the camera just cannot show this. But um, And then to give it a little spritz, and it instantly hardens that CA glue. And then you can kind of really look closely and see what still needs to be filled. I, I really want to show you guys this, so I'm going to take the camera and try to zoom in on this and show you. Okay, so right there, see that hole right at the end, right? Wow, you can really zoom in good with this. That still needs to be filled a little bit. Let me see if I can do this without getting CA glue everywhere. I just take a little dab like that. And 
And this one will take a couple coats to fill that spot in, I think. But I think that gives you the idea on what I'm trying to do. All right, so then once that's filled, I've got one little spot on this other side I'm gonna fix. And I'm gonna get this all hand sanded out uh, probably do a light buff on it to get those, that mosaic pin to really shine good. And then I'm going to attempt to torch this bourbon barrel without ruining everything. So I'll check back in when we get to that step. guys everything turned out really cool with this build i got his logo engraved in there with the laser machine really good there's a bunch of fuzz in it right now and then i went ahead and did a number six on this side can you see it right there bam again this was a collaboration project with howling winds axe and tool this is his number six cleaver design sent to me to finish up and so stoked with how it turned out make sure you guys go give him a follow he's putting out some incredible stuff and um what's going to happen with this is probably about a week after this video goes up there will be an auction post for this cleaver so you can own it um make sure you guys check all the links below that i put in the description if you're interested in any of the stuff i use in the video um my social media glenn's social media everything will be linked below make sure you comment what you guys think of this build and how it turned out i couldn't be much more stoked with it it just feels good it's heavy but not not too heavy it, like i said when i took all that meat off those bevels it really lightened this thing up and this thing's ready to rock and roll. So like always, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do it and have a good one.